Hello everybody, welcome to Volt Vehicles. I wanted to talk to you guys about the most common e-bike conversion kits, the Bafang motors, the mid-drive motors. I'm someone who's owned all three of these motors, so I can tell you guys what I think is the pros and cons between all these motors and what like what could be the right motor for you and what to think about before buying one of these motors. Because for someone who's maybe new to uh, building e-bikes and constructing and converting your own e-bikes it might seem a little bit daunting which one should i choose the reason why it could be good to buy it in general a bafang mid-drive over some other type of mid-drive is because they are pretty cost effective they're very reliable they're very well-known brands and if they do break they're often like it's well known how to fix them because they're very well known robust bulletproof motors in general but they're multiple different types of ones but there are three you could say three groups here the BBS01, the BBS02, and the BBS HD Bafang motors. So this is then a video to explain which one could be right for you. So we'll start here in the BBS01. Uh, the BBS01 is then the like weakest of the three. It's a 250 watt uh, mid drive motor. And what is the good thing about this? Well, it's a really pretty low power, so it's going to be good battery life. It's legal in the EU, so completely legal here. And reliability is also pretty high with this one because since it's a pretty low power motor, the risk of you blowing something in it by going too hard uh, is lower. Like if you take a too high gear and you start from a stop uh, and then you just crank the motor, like push the motor really hard, it is a little bit less risk than the other motors of something breaking because of how it's anyway got a low power. So not, there's less risk of big damage being done to it. Uh, and then something that is great about this motor is it's a pretty light motor the lightest of all these three motors so it's only 3.8 kilos uh, and it is also compatible in 48 volt version and 250 watt motors in general are very uncommon i find to be able to be acquired a 48 volt uh, variant so if you have got lots of 48 volt uh, batteries which i find to be a bit more multi-purpose because i see lots of big capacity ones with 48 volt and often these high watt motors are uh, use 48 volts uh, I think that it's good to be able to have a motor that's able to use 48 volt batteries because it's a bit more multifunctional. I think you're more open to switch batteries and motors. So then, what is the downside? What do you have to think about when you're using getting a BBS01? Then, well, it's pretty weak, so you're going to have a hard time when it comes to the winds and like uphills. Uh, I have got a pretty like hybrid style bike, so I've got two inch tires, uh, but they're slicks. And if it's very breezy, then it's hard to stay above 25 kilometers an hour so otherwise you can say if it's uh, no problem with the breeze then i can easily get 30 35 kilometers an hour but it depends a lot on the gears because uh, when it comes to the, the top speed and optimal conditions because this motor requires good gearing because if you do not have good gearing then it, like at a certain cadence like the frequency you pedal it'll, the motor will just uh, lower its power because it doesn't it's not able to go spin far so fast uh, before it conks out so you have to have a good gearing so say like my current bike is a three geared internal geared hub bike uh, and i can get like 35 kilometers an hour for it to fully unlock it but if i put an eight speed cassette on uh with the highest gear then i can get probably you know, 40 kilometers now i can get more speed out of it if i have better gearing so the point is that this is a very like gear dependent motor uh, you need to have good gearing to be able to get high speeds but it is also a very reliable motor unfortunately the bbs01 does not come in a 52 volt version that's unfortunate because i like 52 volt batteries because they give you that extra juice when you're at the uh, highest voltage enabling you to have a uh, slightly big capacity batteries but also a little bit extra speed when you're at max battery capacity uh, so it's not able to be 52 volt compatible compatible unfortunately but the bbs01 i would say is the go-to motor to get if you are in the eu and you want to follow the rules because this is the legal one uh, and uh, no problem to use it here and it's also a very powerful motor like it's well well built and lightweight as well so you have an overall good time very reliable uh, one thing to keep in mind is that there are many there are a few different variants of the bbs01 they do have 350 watt versions so those will not be then legal in eu countries but you you can say like you sometimes you would see like the 500 watt versions of motors and that 300 watt version of motors you can sometimes you can have different varying wattages but usually they'll group into either one of these three so like bbs01 usually has 250 watt and 350 watt variants so coming over to the bbs02 here that is then the slightly bigger brother of the bbs01 but it actually looks very similar in terms of its appearance to the bbs01 and i'm very similar almost identical here it's slightly more robust built internally 
but uh, otherwise it weighs almost the same i mean 4.3 kilos like half a kilo more uh, and is a lot more powerful than 750 watts so it's like what you can get the best thing you can get if you want to be legal in the u.s with the 750 watt uh, law uh, max watt limit here so this is like the go-to if you want to abide the laws in the u.s but get as much juice as possible and good thing is if you want to be sneaky and you want to like use high-powered uh, motors in uh, countries where it's not allowed uh, this looks identical to the bbso one so i i mean it's not like it looks any particularly different so i think this could be easily like uh, rebranded as like a 250 watt uh, motor just because of how it looks exactly the same as the bbso one so this is one thing to keep in mind it doesn't pretty much look the same there's no difference when i look at them i hardly see any difference apart from the engravings on it cons is the same thing as the bbso one it requires these gears to get good speed if you don't have good enough gears then it's hard to get very uh, fast speed it's not got as big of a requirement of gears as the bbso one uh, with the the same three speed internal gear hub i've got on the gear three i can still get with the similar gearing i can get to a lot higher speed like 45 kilometers now uh, but uh, it still requires gears, um, uh, unlike the BBS HD or get close uh, to later. It doesn't require as much to get at good top speeds. Uh, the It's not 52 volt compatible either. I think there are some people who've modded it to be able to be that, but otherwise it's not 52 volt compatible out of the box. Uh, so you can't use 52 volt batteries usually with this one. But otherwise, it's a pretty good... I'll say the, the great thing about the PBSO2 is that it, you get the most amount of performance out of being legal into the US countries and it's got a very good power to weight ratio like 4.3 kilos and 750 watts packing a really big punch uh, so it's a very powerful and a nice tiny little motor then you've got the big boy motor the BBS HD now this thing is the HD the heavy duty motor and this thing is no joke one kilowatt of power uh, it's a really well built motor a lot built uh, quite a bit differently than the, the other motors the bbso one and the bbso two you can see it looks very different got really big heat sinks here so less likely to overheat compared to the other motors and just in general it's a very well built motor so it is a very strong and robust motor so if you're going to go like riding hard probably the bbs hd will be better than the bbso two since it's a lot well built and they've got almost the same wattages this is one kilowatt this is 750 watts so if i were to push the bike hard i'd rather go for this motor here uh but i've had all these three motors and i had no problems with them whatsoever but this one is well built i have heard uh talks about this also being slightly better waterproof rating you yeah, or like slightly more watertight than the other ones even though it is the same waterproof rating as the other one two here so yeah but this has got slightly better sealants i believe though so it's a little bit more water resistant but only very slightly not a big difference uh this one has got a big uh, uh, pro as well that it doesn't require much gearing so you can have a very low gear and still get super fast speeds with it. it just spins really fast not maybe not so good for the motor to go super fast rotational speed you've got a little bit more flexibility you don't need to have crazy high gearing to get really high speeds at least compared to the other two motors especially the bbso one you do, do not at all require as much gearing like uh, my uh, you could say my gear 2 in my 3 speed internal gear hub on the bbs hd can easily get a lot faster than the bbs01 on 3 gear now it's obviously a more powerful motor but the top speed is like the the amount of cadence the max cadence you'll have to pedal is a lot greater with the bbs hd compared to the bbs01 okay so then when it comes to uh, the 52 volt compatibility this one is out of the box uh, 52 volt compatible so that's very good if you want to use 52 volt batteries make the most out of your motor and get the bigger capacity batteries as well so you've, you're able to use that that's a, an advantage that it has that the other ones do not out of the box at least have it the bbs hd also has a little bit more since it's very well built it has the ability to have custom controllers put on it i have never had any experience with this but i have seen people putting custom controllers on it uh, to be able to get like i think three kilowatts like really crazy uh wattages because it is a very well built motor so it can actually handle these amounts of watts so it's a lot very good for someone who wants to like tinker a lot more in the future so overall the bbs hd is just a well big beefier built version of the other two motors especially the bbs02 is a lot well built while delivering slightly more power now the cons is then this is a heavy boy it's a, the heaviest out of all these motors and then also one downside this is not the motor per se but this one comes with a chain ring this chain ring here 
there's a steel chain ring that is so heavy, half a kilo for this whole chain ring. Meanwhile, these two other ones here, the chain ring is only 200 grams. So that over double the amount of weight here on the chain ring. So you can probably, when you're doing a BBS HD and you want to optimize for the weight, uh, you definitely want to buy a better chain ring because you can buy a lot lighter chain rings and still not have to be as heavy as this half a kilo uh, chain ring. It's ridiculous what you get with it. I much prefer the chain rings on the BBS01 and the BBS02. And also these motors they're compatible in terms of their chain rings you can interchange them this one is not it's a uh, uh, selector uh, only the bbs hd itself so you can't put a bbs hd in chain ring on a bbs02 and vice versa and obviously because it's a heavy power motor it drains the battery quickly unlike the bbs01 and the question mark here is if this is legal because this is not really any you can't really use this in the us and be completely legal as an e-bike because it's the up to surpasses the 750 watt uh, count uh, so that's just something to just keep in mind if you want how much you want to risk it for the legalities here then when it comes to the cabling the cabling i do not like the cabling on the bbs hd the cabling is a lot messier not something i really like like it's got like all these different colored wires all bungled up together the cabling i have a, lo a lot harder time organizing these and then also just because the hd is a lot more heavier than the other ones then there's a lot i find it to be a bit greater risk of sliding down when you mount this motor to the bottom bracket and this is so heavy that it's just more risk of it sliding downwards than these other ones when this like lock ring here that holds the motor fastened to the bottom bracket this has an increased risk of uh, letting go and just sliding the motor down because of how heavy this motor is uh, so that's also something to keep to keep into consideration here a little bit weird cabling more risk of sliding i overall i like the bbs01 because this is then fully legal where i live in the eu and also it's a very clean motor as well like very nice cabling lighter motor uh, i have a good time with this motor here so for me the bbs01 is good but maybe someone who wants to do a lot of off-road or doesn't care about the laws and wants to push their bikes to the max bbs hd is good good top speed you want to make the most out of your e-bike in the us you go for bbs02 uh, if you're in the us i would definitely go for the bbs02 or bbs01 i don't see any reason to go for the bbs01 in the us because the bbs02 if you want to like save uh, battery life then you can tone down a little bit uh, the power uh, the only reason i would say go for the bbs01 is if you want to save a bit on the weight but it's very tiny difference in weight hardly any difference uh, I'd say in the US is mainly a question of whether or, want, or not you want to go for the BBS HD or the BBS 02 uh, and the BBS HD is not legal in the US or at least all states at least. The BBS 01 and the BBS 02 they're pretty much the same price. The HD however costs about 50% more. It costs about like six seven hundred USD while the BBS 01 and the BBS 02 costs about 400 uh, USD or euros. Uh, so you're going to have to pay quite a bit more for this motor as well so that's just something to keep in mind i would say the price to performance ratio is best in the o2 you get so much performance for money here so that's my comparison of these three mid-drive motors they've got different types of uh, audiences and uh, they serve their purpose overall it's a very reliable brand of very reliable motors so which one you get you're always going to have a good uh, going to have a good time it just depends a little bit what your taste is and what your preference is and what your riding style is and where you live so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.